everyone. Welcome back to The List. I'm Donna Rucco. They're rare but extremely expensive. We're not talking diamonds, we're talking pandas. And there's some talk about bringing them to Detroit. Jimmy Rhodes has the stories people are sharing around the day. At number one, could there be pandemonium in the Motor City? Governor Snyder departs on a trade mission to China next week, stirring up speculation about bringing the rare, adorable beasts to the Detroit Zoo. But wait, we're just getting out of bankruptcy and pandas are pricey. First, there's the rental. For a panda pair, that's about a million bucks a year. Providing animal care, researchers, guest relations and security for the massive crowds of visitors they attract runs more than half a mil. Lump in food, imported bamboo, research permits, and conservation work required by China, and the total is over $2 million a year. That doesn't even include the 15 to 20 million to build a habitat. At number two, the circus is coming to town. So I dropped in on the Bobby and Stacy show at WOMC to talk Ringling Brothers, built to amaze. Still have the human cannonball? Yes, they do. They've got dancing elephants. They've got people riding horses. They try to create as much anxiety in the audience as possible. They don't just say the guy's on a high wire. He's on a pencil thin yes. high wire, which yeah. I'm thinking could slice you right in half. I like the bearded lady. Really? You go into the circus in the 30s? I don't think I've ever seen a bearded lady. Well, you have a beard, so is that why? I don't know. Well, there's always a job for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Margaret. How are you? I'm, I'm with the circus. At number three, this Veterans Day, we dropped in at the American House in Southfield to thank local veterans for their service. I not only served my country, but then they also helped me because they sent me to college. Uh, my service, I will never forget because of the people that I helped and the people who helped me. In the first place, when I went to Miami, I was a boy. When I come out, I was a man. Our small token of appreciation, well, cake. Who doesn't like cake? Now you're caught up and clued in around the D.